So this is the ES body line. Okay. Wow, holy cow. This press Gibson bought in the mid 50s used from the furniture industry. Wow. So we think it's from the 30s or 40s. And this, this machine has pressed every single ES guitar that we've ever made. Oh my God. So if you think of B.B. King's ES or Albert Lee's, Eric Clapton, or any of the iconic, you know, Keith Richards, any, anybody who's played an ES, it's come out of this machine. Oh my God, touch it. It's warm it's too, you can feel. Oh yeah. We use heat pressure, so it's, it's warmed up to about 220 degrees. We have three plies of wood maple and then we rotate it 90 degrees poplar okay. and then maple okay. and that's what comprises the top and back of the es wow. so this would be a finished top you can see how it has the contouring yeah wow look at that so it would go in the press like this And then that press comes down, and that heat and pressure, it stays in there for three minutes, and that cures the glue and helps form the top veneers together. That's very hot. Then we put it on the racks here to dry. And at this point, it could be either a top or a back. Okay. Once we put it on this machine, we'll route it out and then if it's a top, it'll route it out for the f holes and controls, and if it's a back, it doesn't. Sure. Then it goes to the next stations. We glue up the cores over here. We'll take the cores, assemble those, and then we glue the tops and backs together on that affair there, so you have a bladder situation like this that inflates, oh. and that's where we glue the tops and backs together. And this is the center block you said? Yeah, the center yeah. block. Okay. The core. And then we'll have a trimming operation where you can see the veneers extending off of the rim of the guitar there. Oh, sure, yeah. So we'll trim that on a router table or shaper table channel it for binding, and then we do the binding over here. That's where we channel it on those tables there. So he's unwrapping an ES that's already been bound. The top has been bound, the back still has yet to be bound. Yeah. So I mean, even, I mean, that's still the most efficient way to do it, huh? Is just tie it down and have it really yeah, you know, pressure-wise? Yeah, we're gonna watch probably Gary coming up on solid bodies, but that rope method is probably one of the only processes that we still do today that we did over 100 years ago. And it takes over two months to train one of these guys how to do that. Really? But once you do it, it's way better and has a lot greater degree of success and accuracy than using tape or rubber bands like some other manufacturers use. So it pays to teach people that skill. I see. Yeah, it, it is highly skilled. It's come down over the years, the skill still is used. That's, that's... Yeah.